Today we're going to learn this. And this. And this. We're also going to learn this. And finally this. What are going to be the most popular flair bartending moves for 2023? Years ago, we had the Roadhouse World Flair happening at the end of every year. This is where we saw the best flair bartenders in the world come together and one person will be crowned the world champion. Normally, everyone would look up to that one person and that person's flair would kind of dictate what type of flair we would see in 2023. Sadly, the Roadhouse is closed and the Roadhouse World Flair is no more, but fear not, because I got you. I'm gonna show you the top moves that you should be working on for 2023. Let me know in the comments which one you like the most so I can do more videos and more variations on those types of moves. Quick side note, I'm organizing an online flair bartending cocktail competition. It's Battle of the Bottle, the second edition. And if you go to battleofthebottle.com, you'll be able to find out a little bit more and pre-register for the competition. It's gonna be held on the Avenue platform and I'll leave a link down in the description for everything that you need to know. We're starting off with double jigger moves. Now, using a jigger has become all the craze over the years, and people are already starting to experiment with two jiggers. And I think in 2023, we're gonna see a load more flare bartenders using two jiggers to come up with different flare bartending moves. You're gonna start with doing a thumb roll with the first jigger. Place it in between your thumb and index finger knuckle like so, and then make a thumb roll with the second jigger. Once you've done that, you're gonna bring your middle finger behind that second jigger to spin it over. Now at this point, as you pick up the bottle, you want your little finger to go and tuck in behind the first jigger, the copper jigger in this case. That way you can make your first pour pretty easily and then you just turn over your hand and then you'll be in the right position to make your second pour. From there, you can grab hold of that second jigger and do another thumb roll. Assisted pours. These are gonna be all the rage for 2023. Since the craft flair era emerged, we've seen bartenders using their tools like tin on tins, spoons, strainers, and jiggers. But very rarely do we see a bartender throwing a bottle up and producing moves with the bottle. And that's understandable. They don't wanna smash the bottle, they don't wanna spill the liquid. But I think they're gonna explore with the bottle a hell of a lot more by having these assisted pours where the bottle is moving, but not actually being thrown anywhere. So you wanna grab the bottle with your index finger here, your other three fingers on this side. Then you're gonna use this other hand to spin the bottle over in a full 360. Then again, bring it up into a pour. Grab with this hand up here, change the grab, bounce, and then tip forwards. Bring it back into the hand underneath your arm, change the position, and down into the speed rail. So all together is a twist, bounce, change, push, back, change, down. <clears throat> the inverted flip. We're seeing a lot of the pros use this in their routines, in their moves, and in their sequences. And now a lot of bartenders are getting used to the regular flips. They're gonna start exploring with different ways to be able to flip their objects, whether it's shakers or with a bottle. So you wanna start by holding the small shaker in beer grab and the large shaker in tennis grab. You're gonna rest that on your shoulder, the same hand that you're holding the shaker. Then you're just gonna push the front end up. You wanna push that up and the shaker will spin towards you. And you wanna aim for a full rotation, so you're gonna go up, full rotation, down into the small shaker. And we can use our finger in front of the small shaker down here to help guide that large shaker into position. Add your ice. And then from there, you're gonna swing off and release that small shaker using these two fingers and catch the small shaker in tennis grab. And then it's the same principle. You're gonna push 
the front end of the small shaker up and this direction, up and in this direction. And then bring the large shaker into place for the second inverted flip. When we're talking about spoon spinning, we are only just touching the surface of what is possible. Spoon spinning is basically pen spinning, and we're gonna see a lot more bartenders learn some of those extreme pen spinning tricks and incorporate it into their spoon tricks. So we're gonna hold between our pinky and our ring finger, and we're gonna swing towards us like so, release with the pinky and grab with the middle finger. From there, we're gonna stop and we're gonna spin back the other way and bring our index finger into play and then continue down our hand, ring finger back into play, pinky back into play, and then all the way around, and then we can turn over and you can place it on your bar top. From there, we're gonna use the technique of the inverted toss and we're gonna throw this end away from us, but bring the spoon towards us. So we're gonna throw and bring and we're gonna grab it in our hand like so. One, two, back the other way, and onto the bar top, spin, grab, and then you're on to start stirring. The last one we're gonna see is stalls. Now this is an old type of move and it's been around since Flair started in the 80s. But I think we're gonna see bartenders use this a hell of a lot more because it's easy to understand what is happening for the guest and they're fairly easy moves to master and manipulate and use behind the bar. As with any stall move, we start by practicing the balance and that is finding the position where you're gonna catch the object. So you bring your arm up behind your ear, so your elbow is sticking out, and you're gonna place the bottle where is comfortable for you to catch it. For me, it's right here. Once you've got that bottle in position, you'll practice balancing it there. Get comfortable with that being uncomfortable and it will become much easier for you as you practice it. Next, you need to practice the catch. And that's a case of holding the bottle with your other hand and dropping it on your arm in your catching position. Now, when you're catching the reverse forearm stall, we're gonna use our knees to cushion the catch and let it land on our arm. And then as you get a little bit more confident and better, you can throw the bottle up gently and catch it into position. Once you have those two elements nailed, then you can go and start using the same hand that you're gonna catch with and throwing it up. I do recommend you get your hands on a plastic bottle. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can buy. So you're gonna start by throwing that bottle up and trying to get it straight. And as you throw, you can see my arm can come up into the catching position. And I, I can see that I need that bottle to be higher so it's gonna land on my arm as I throw it up. And then, boom. And then when you're ready, you can try with a working flare or a full bottle. So those are my top five types of flare bartending moves that we are gonna see in 2023. Once again, let me know in the comments which one is your favorite, and I'll do more videos based around that type of move. So I wanna give a shout out to all the members of the Pro Flare group. We can dive deep into some of these moves on our next video meeting call. The Pro Flare group is an educational, learning, and coaching subscription community that I've put together. I'm the mentor and I'll help lead you in the direction that you need so you can reach your flair bartending goals and dreams. We dive deep into your needs and how you can grow as a flair bartender and start monetizing and using your skills to make it a career. So there we have it. Thank you very much for watching. Happy New Year to each and every one of you. If you like the video, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time,